rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Oops, here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. What a good boy. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diapers. Choco rockets? Sure. What difference does it make? Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Fly a course for Planet Galactica. Help! Help! Someone help us! My toes are really chilly! This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? That's not worse. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay! Good job! nutrition paste for you today. Light brown. <sighs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7.
Wake up the bridge man! Wake up, bridge man! We're saved! He lowered the bridge! Back to sleep, bridge man! Wake up, bridge man! We're saved! He lowered the bridge! What an amazing idea! Brilliant and resourceful! Don't forget to sleep! Back to sleep! What are you doing? Ah! Shay! What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I'm sure you had a season! <laughs> Woohoo! Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! Wait! What? No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. It's locked! What a dirty trick! Hey! What are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. It works! Hmm... What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Hmm... That might inflate it, but the air's coming out too gently. No, I took it. Fair and square. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa, it looks like a blow-up doll of me. Creepy. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. my little angel. Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came, because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war 
has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Ah, the young master has come to play with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be meant to serve your passage. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Not a problem. <laughs> Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four, three, two, one. And we're here. Please enjoy your stay and be safe. Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <gasps> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shields. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage the grappling sequence. Careful. I got it! Great work, Shay. 
Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Careful. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from... Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. 